formats. Um, so formats are one of the big challenges with digital preservation. Um, there are so many of them, and they have so many dependencies, and they turn over quite frequently. Um, you know, a good example of um, just a basic word processing file, the history of a word processing file. You, know, you could go back, people were using WordPerfect and WordPad and all sorts of other tools, you know, many years ago. Eventually, we have Microsoft Word. Uh, even former versions of Microsoft Word, though, uh, might not render appropriately on current versions of Microsoft Word. So you have this constant cycle of uh, format versioning, format updating, format change. New formats are released, um, and so they can become obsolete very quickly. And because of other changes, uh, when I mentioned that digital preservation is really a, a study of change, software changes and updates, the hardware used to store digital media or digital objects uh, changes and updates. And I brought a few historical examples of digital media here. Um, and so these things constantly change and in order to accommodate them and in order to make, um, again, to make our files preservable in the long term, it requires, um, in many instances, it requires a constant you know, refreshing of formats or migration from one format to another. But I think when you talk about choices and planning in advance, one of the things you can do is make informed choices about the formats you use and choose formats that are initially more sustainable than others.